What's the toughest thing that you believe is facing your associations today? Involvement. Involvement by who? Membership. Membership. And why do we believe that membership is falling down? Involvement. They don't see the value. It's what? They don't see the value. Yes. Value is changing. You're in the middle of a hurricane. In fact, so much that I actually developed a new course for that because it's this relevance thing. We are in the middle of it now. We've come through one side, and it's going to be completely different three or four years from now. This is a fact. So as we start dealing with that, we're going to have to be prepared for that as leaders. What else? Toughest thing facing your organizations. Young people don't feel as though they need the education that I felt I needed when I entered the business. Okay, so young people, meaning Generation Z, the 21 year old, are we going to no, go up a little? No, 35. 35? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all I'm going to suggest to you, those of you that are baby boomers and beyond, we thought the same thing at 35. Mm -hmm. Has it, it really hasn't changed, it's just different because they're coming with different types of information loads than what we had, yeah. okay, as we come from educational, but it's valid. Younger people, different perspectives that you want and an excellent volunteer. Dedication. Dedication, got it? What's that? Commitment. Commitment, got it? Follow One more. Through. No personal agenda. <laughs> no personal agenda, okay? All right, so no skill sets, no competency, is it not attitude? If we've got the right attitude coming in, yes. I can teach them anything, right? So yes, thank you for that. So those three things, taking a look at that and that effort, it's willing to follow it all the way through. You're gonna be defining it for your organizations because it could alter from your organization over to Stafford to Patricia's because the environment is different. It's your needs and your challenges. But on a general basis, that's what I believe and I think you've nailed it. Some of the things that I'd like to share with you about what I've learned in terms of building and creating a strong culture. First of all, I'll get back to the basics. Who are you? What do you do? Who do you serve? And then you do it better than anyone else. Better than anyone else. I want to draw the Abbeys of the world. I want to draw her in saying, I can't wait to be part of this. And then what I want to do is take this unbelievable strength and ability, and I want to incorporate that strength into the organization. How can I use her, and how can she use me? It should be a symbiotic relationship between There is no such thing as a dissatisfied customer in my mindset. I messed up. That may sound really rude. It may sound impossible. But if I don't go in with that attitude, every time when I'm speaking and presenting, it is never about me. It's about making sure that we get what it is you're looking for and what you need in the program and the course offerings. Same thing happens every single time you're talking with one of your members in your organizations. How may I serve you and then deliver like no one else?